The TV, the smartphone you're watching this newscast on right now would not work without microchips, vital to all of the devices we use every day. But America's semiconductor industry has been lagging for years, falling behind competitors in Asia. And now manufacturers say new government investments have them poised for a rebound. Our Jack Thurston has one example from Global Foundries in Essex Junction. The growing adoption of electric vehicles, upgrades to our power grids, and faster data on 5G and eventually 6G smartphones. Engineers say those developments and more to come will all require a next generation of semiconductor. But we're in a competitive world. Technology Senator Patrick Leahy wants to see made in his state. We're going to be building it. Why not do it here in Vermont? Leahy Monday announcing $30 million in federal funding to spark development and manufacturing of a kind of microchip using new materials here at Global Foundries in Essex Junction. It's a reinvention. The CEO promises it'll be able to better handle high heat and power needs, especially helpful, say, as electric cars get more and more efficient. For fast charging of batteries, for better precision battery management. Now, this federal funding for the Vermont plant is separate from that $52 billion pot of money Washington approved to jumpstart domestic chip making. Remember scenes like this from last summer when many car lots were empty, frustrating consumers and dealers alike? What should be in this lot? Um, about 150 to 200 cars. It was just one impact from a severe chip shortage. Something so small can make such a huge difference. Huge impact. The Chips and Science Act the president authorized this summer, after bipartisan support in Congress, aims to invest in America's chip making capacity to reduce reliance on foreign made semiconductors. The government's right now setting up a system for manufacturers looking for funds to retool facilities. As the, the process gets better defined, we'll be putting in our applications to demonstrate the outcomes we will drive with that type of funding across our, our footprint in the U.S. Global Foundries says for its Vermont campus, it's grateful Senator Leahy also pursued funding for workforce development initiatives. We're going to be able to grow our partnerships with both Vermont Technical College, with the University of Vermont, and then grow our outreach to local high schools, and especially technical high schools. While critics earlier did wonder why taxpayer money would flow to profitable plants, you make America proud. Leahy insists a key reason is national security. This facility provides the U.S. Defense Department with specialized chips for some of its most sensitive systems. In Essex Junction, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News. Jack, thank you.